Are you someone who is looking for a change from manual testing to automation testing? Or you are someone who is thinking to enter into IT industry and looking for a good career option and thinking about automation testing as a career choice? If your answer is yes, then this video is going to give you complete clarity about automation testing career path. Hello, my name is Amit Tripathi and I am automation testing expert, a career coach, and your friend in this journey of automation testing. In this video, we are going to see what are different career paths to become automation testing expert. We are going to see what different skills are required to become an automation testing expert and also how much time it is going to take if you are starting to learn automation testing today. So let's start with automation testing career path. If I consider you as a fresher, then you must be a student or any non-working person or any person who is working in non-IT industry, okay, or working in IT but not in testing. So this particular video is going to be helpful for all of these categories of people. So your goal as a fresher or I am considering whosoever is going to enter into automation industry and don't have any further any uh, idea what is uh, automation and how to get into that as a fresher. So the fresher uh, now here, you know, uh, the goal is to become an automation expert. So a fresher can become a manual tester. So what is manual tester basically? Manual tester is a person who performs testing, who tests any application in a IT company or software company manually. So there is no tools, uh, no automation tools are required to test any particular application. Okay. At the same time, he or she can become a manual tester from manual tester to automation tester. Okay. So one fresher can also become a automation tester directly. So it is not like only a manual tester and then becoming automation tester is the path, but you can become an automation test engineer directly from fresher. Okay. And then uh, once you become an automation tester, you have learned necessary skills, then uh, you have to be an automation expert. Okay. So we will be seeing what different things are required in order to become an automation expert. So currently I'm seeing the scenario as uh, you are fresher and you wanted to go through this path uh, where fresher and uh, you wanted you wanted to become manual tester so in order to become an uh, manual tester there is couple of things which you need to learn you need to learn testing basics you need to learn how manual testing works how uh, what are different tools and technologies which are used as a manual tester maybe it may be you know uh, agile related tools uh, jira you know confluence or other uh, you know bug tracking tools uh, so also domain knowledge is very must required uh, as an automation test engineer also and manual tester also but for manual testers actually it's very very important to uh, know domain knowledge so what is domain knowledge maybe uh, this question may come to uh, any person so if your application in banking domain so for example if you are working for any particular bank's application then your domain is banking domain okay and in that banking domain what is the functionality of any particular function uh, any particular application in banking domains uh, website so that knowledge you need to understand what are different tools required so jira is one of the tool which require uh, required to tracking the bugs it is required to you know test management tools uh, to track your tests to tra track your executions and all those things and uh, testing basics of course what is test uh, tests uh, how to write test plans how to write test cases how to write uh, different uh, strategies uh, basically different strategies to write test cases so those things are required to become manual testers before talking to automation testers so now you know manual testing is very much in uh, reducing demand because uh, you know uh, in any particular team everything is getting automated uh, without automation no uh, team can think of uh, releasing their product uh, releasing their uh, you know application so that's why manual testers are very less in demand i am not saying that uh, manual testing is going to die but it is required it is very much important in any testing phase but uh, at the same time you know it is very much um, i mean 
if there are two automation tester three automation tester then there may be chances you know uh, there is one auto uh, one manual testing uh, guys there in a team so that is the demand uh, so very less demand is there in uh, manual testing in automation testing if we think about now uh, you know um, to become any automation tester from manual testing now again you have to learn certain uh, you know automation tools um, there are different automation tools which are required to become an automation testing engineer so uh, this could take you know two to three months uh, to uh, to learn all those things so uh, the duration part it is going to take is two to three months and as soon as you jump on automation testing uh, comparative to manual testing it is very much in demand and nowadays you know some of the people ask that okay uh, how about a development so is development is more lucrative or monetarily uh, beneficial or uh, it is automation testing so now you know if you have very good command in automation related technologies and you are having very good skills then automation testing is also no not bad than uh, you know development career so again this path you can achieve directly from fresher so duration is three to four months why because uh, you need to understand if you are very new to the industry and you are not having uh, enough knowledge then you should know at least basics of uh, testing so few basic of testing few tools which are uh, common for manual testers and automation testers like jira and all those things you need to learn and those things of course you can learn during the um, job also uh, it is not required to learn beforehand that you know everything and then uh, you are able to you know uh, understand but some of the testing related things are required to learn so apart from those testing related things uh, manual testing related things some of these tools uh, which are required so here if i talk about java so see now again programming language is of course required so here i have put only java but uh, you can have multiple languages maybe c sharp or uh, you know python any particular language could be there then selenium could be one of the ui related automation tool there are other tools for automating api tests so uh, selenium basically helps us to automate browser related tests selenium is browser automating tool so uh, once you learn java or c sharp then selenium is compatible to all the uh, different languages python uh, java and c sharp so again git and github so these all are the repositories on which you store your code so currently what happens you know if you are coding on your system then you code on your you know your code is stored in your system itself but if you wanted to share that whole code to any other team member okay so at that point of time it is required to have some tool which is going to share this code to some other people it should be very much smooth so git and github are version or we can say a versioning tool and uh, you know repository remote repository is github and your local uh, repository is git so this thing also is required to learn test ng is test framework why it is required it is required to create test cases then maintain test cases and execute your test cases maven is build automation tool so it is going to uh, it is required to build your automation code so whatever code you are writing basically what maven does it is mainly used to build your automation code or any particular code if uh, maven is used as a build automation tool okay now few other things are like uh, cucumber so cucumber is used as a BDD tool, so whatever we are writing in automation, we can use a Cucumber tool to write our test cases in plain simple English. So I'll uh, bring up all the videos on different uh, tools here. So how do we work? Uh, so I'll show you uh, that and uh, in further videos also. And uh, here, so last but not the least, framework design. So see now everything is there uh, java is there selenium is there uh, test ng maven cucumber so how everything is going to come together and work for us so there 
framework is required why because we wanted to utilize our code as much as possible we don't want that my 100 lines of code is there and uh, there is code duplicacy over there so we don't want that so how basically we can optimize our code how whatever lines of code we are writing for 100 of lines uh, how we can reduce that 100 lines of code to 10 lines of code those all things considering uh, we create a uh, framework design frameworks uh, to incorporate all those things and uh, framework when you create a framework of automation it is very much easy to uh, do the test development okay now i am just uh, summarizing this so you are fresher then you need uh, you can become there is one path from manual tester to automation tester and then automation expert by learning tools i just told these all are the tools like java selenium Git, github and uh, test ng maven cucumber framework and all those things skills so there are technical skills there are uh, soft skills so technical skills comes like uh, you know domain knowledge your testing related knowledge and your soft skills comes uh, your team handling on all those things okay and when you add all these things with analytical skills and whatever new things coming in the market like chat gpt or something like that okay ai tools and all those things then it makes you automation expert of course becoming an automation expert takes time uh, it takes time to develop analytical skills that was all in this video and if you have any further queries please comment in the comment box and i'm going to answer your queries and if you really like this video and it was helpful to you please like and subscribe i am going to share more videos on automation journey which is going to help you a lot in your automation career so please like subscribe and comment and till then bye bye jai hind